Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. It's me Anil and today I am back with a new project that is online cake store or online cake ordering. Okay. So in this project I have used ASP.NET web form using SQL Server as a database. In this project I have used entire architecture. Let me show you. can see here this is my the web project that is cake.web okay and this is the data access layer this is a business object that is uh, entities okay and this is a business logic layer okay so basically uh, one two three four four layer is there okay So let's see uh, the functional device here. So this is the home page. About us page. Uh, we can we can filter it by category wise can search also first this first reset it now we can search also so now let's see that details of a single item click on it single item has four images okay this is a short description long description from here they can increase the quantity and they can add to the cart or they can add to the wish list but first of all user need to be login okay so let's check here so user is not login so it will take us to the login page let's login here uh, user can add item to the cart directly from here like uh, Clicking on add to cart, it will going to add to the cart. Can check. I've already two item in my cart. Just now added this one frozen ice cream. Let's remove. So let's this one. Okay. So suppose I want to update this quantity. Now click on update cart. So the cart has been updated. The updated price okay now let's go back to the shop page add this one add to cart now there is two item in this cart and the total price is 250 rupees okay and uh, now suppose I want to add this item again from shop not from here I don't want to increase my quantity from here I want to add this item again from the shop let's see add to cart now this time the quantity will going to increase 
of that item previous it was one now it is two okay and the price also get increase here okay the actual total price is also increase here okay uh click on that uh, we are able to see the details of that product okay of item let's add this uh, item to the uh, favorite let's add it if you go here there is already one item in my wish list and now the other one that i have just now added let's remove the previous one remove from here also like directly uh, user can add to the card it's added to the card or like uh, they can go uh, in details page let's go to this details page of this item and from here like they can add the card So right now I am having uh, three item here. Okay, let's uh, see my order history. My previous order history, like uh, I have already ordered two time here. First one with the card payment and second one with the cash on delivery payment. Okay, so let's uh, order again here. Proceed to checkout. And see this item I am going to buy the first one that is the quantity 2 the second the quantity 3 and the third one that is quantity 2 okay so uh, their single price that that means the unit price of that product is being displayed here and I will going to multiply with the number of quantity of with the price based on that it will going to display the total amount here okay if you go back to the card page you can see uh, you will see the same amount 1550 rupees let's see in card yeah you can see about the total is 1550 rupees here okay the same uh, inside this card also yeah same you go to the checkout now here it uh, there is two options the default one that is the uh, this one cash on delivery it will going to ask uh, the uh, basic details okay and this other one if you click on this checkbox it will going to uh, open the uh, the card payment option okay here okay so let's uh, remove this card payment for now uh, we will going to use cash on delivery and here you can see it is uh, get automatically fill the details of some fields like uh, the name like it will going to fetch the name of the user uh, when they are uh, what they have given at the time of registration okay then the state uh, there need to be uh, provided by the this uh, user okay uh, like uh, they can change also this uh, name like uh, for which uh, name it should be going to uh, make uh, this billing details okay bill of that item okay so you can change the name here also name also so i have changed the name state city okay okay now i am going to place an order let's remove this breakpoint order place successful now after that it will going to take us to this uh, invoice page you can see the cart is empty that is zero quantity price is zero okay you can see all three items has been here like uh, displaying in the invoice with the different order id of each and the total amount that is the exact same okay we can, uh, we can download the invoice here in pdf format download it can zoom also here this one let's 
go back. Okay, let's see the invoice that we have downloaded. Okay, the same what we are seeing in your invoice. Okay, let's close it. Uh, now let's uh, go to the order history. Now you can see the third one which I have just now ordered that is the uh, this three item uh, on cash on delivery payment mode. Okay, all the items uh, like uh, status is pending right now. Like I want to download this invoice again, just click on invoice, it will take us to this invoice page and we can download it from you. Okay, you can see here in pages. Uh, we are getting the shopping cart page, wish list, order history, profile. We can use this one, or uh, we can like uh, use this one also, like from here for the profile, order history, or for the wish list, or for the cart. Okay, so we can use your direct shortcut icons, or you can go from here for the pages. Okay, let's see the profile part. Here it will go to display the details of a user they can add it also the user is not allowed to edit the username again okay let's see the contact page Uh, log out and login as admin. We have seen uh, all the pages from the user module. Now let's see the admin module. This is the admin uh, dashboard page. Okay, categories, product, total orders delivered items, pending items, users, sold amount, feedbacks, okay. Let's see one by one for the category, the first one, we, we can go from here also or we can go from here. In category, like uh, you can see, you can add a category here, you can update, add, delete, whatever you can do here, okay. For the categories and products. We can add new product item from here, from this page, okay, uh, with the four images of that particular item, okay. And we can set which uh, image should be the first one, means uh, the default one. Uh, when it will going to dis display the user module, which image should display to a user by default. So here one option is there for that, for like, which image should be a which image should be set as default image okay in product list like it will going to display the list of products uh, from here we can add it or delete also if we click on add it it will going to uh, take us to the uh, this page product page uh, here it will going to fill all the details of the product from here like we can update all the details of the product okay update status from here we can update the status okay we can filter it by the column column wise like order number or the date or status wise okay users yeah, it will going to display the list of users present in our website contact the user who will going to contact or give any feedback it will going to display here like uh, uh, here admin can delete that feedback also the same for the user uh, admin can delete the user from our this website okay the last one that is selling report 
from here like they can search for the the report let's suppose from 16 to today let's search we'll get this uh two users who has bought uh how many items like they have bought the first user has bought eight items the second second user has bought 15 and the price of that eight item that is 660 and the 15 and the 15 item is 8150 rupees and the both total cost will go into display here that is 8810 rupees okay like uh, they can print it in pdf or let us go for here directly pdf or the excel file okay the same cost till now how many costs were sold out it is going to display in the dashboard here sold amount okay i think i have shown every uh, functionality what i have done in this project thank you for watching we'll meet in the next video till then bye take care thank you for watching